you two can decide to pledge like she did. It will attract more blessings. The next testifier. Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please permit me to sing the song. Sing unto God. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that we pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater Last week, Wednesday, I had a case that I was like going, wanted to go for a divorce because of how my husband has been treating me. So when I went there, the pastor now, after counseling me, he now asked me to, and I invited me for the, uh, had my account. So I now said, I called the pastor that I'm going to come. So all of a sudden, they saw me landed. When I went to the headquarters, they said they've already moved. I said, ah, how am I going to go about it? So my mind now told me to go to the headquarters church and pick um, the address of the Edo Crusade. So I just said, okay. So when I went to the headquarters, I said, please, if you should help me the address of the Edo Crusade, they asked me, ah, can you go, go alone? I said, the God of this mountain will direct me down there, that you should not worry. So that is how I entered the road, entered from uh, Potako to Imbiama, from Imbiama to Worry, from Worry to Edo State. And here I am in Lagos. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The first miracle that God did for me, he took away um, the case of frequent urination. Power. In fact. Sometimes you don't really know what we are experiencing here. You people are blessed. You people are blessed. Choosing church, you are blessed. The miracles that we are seeing here is not, is not popular in some of the congregations. And I know that God will keep sustaining the man of God to grow higher and higher in Jesus' name. Amen. As I landed in the crusade ground, that was one of the cases I was mentioning. Frequent urination, just out of their life in a simple tune. I, it was something else. And I suffered this case for five years. To tell you, congregation, that I'm not lying, sometimes I don't wear pints. Because if I wear pints and I go out, I'll start to perceive odor because I'll be urinating all that, all, ju just regularly. So, after that night I mentioned my case, I claimed amen. And that night, he said, you wear once, or not at all at all. I said, okay. After that night, I didn't wear at all at all. I said, ah, I woke up in the morning, I said, is it myself that I didn't wear any time? Sometimes we win five times, six times, seven times. Hey. And before in the morning, your body will be shaking you as if you are already dead. I said, God, I have gone to clinics, I've gone to hospitals. He said, manage the issue, drink this. I've drank, I've got tired of drinking. So uh, the next night again, I didn't win at all, at all. I said, ah, is he, is he a reality that this thing has gone? So I said, okay, let me test myself. So when the Lagos people were coming, I, t I told them that I am needed to be here in this uh, women's program that they announced on Saturday. So I called the pastor that invited me that I want to be in your headquarters and see how things are. He said, ah, madam, I like your faith. Oh. He said, okay, go, let the Lord be with you. So I joined the, uh, the adult bus and came. And I landed there. So I drank so much water that day. I ate and I drank water. I drank water again. I said, let me test. But throughout that day, I walked throughout the compound. I didn't wee at all at all. If not, as I moved down to that joint, I will wee. I moved down to that joint, I will wee. Sometimes before I even open myself, my pint is wet. I say, ah, what kind of embarrassment? But since that day, that uh, Saturday to today, my sisters, my brethren, God has taken away that sorrow. Power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Secondly, I told us that I was going, for, I wanted to go for a divorce. Even while I went to the headquarters church, I was reading a, a, a book on divorce because I said, no, this matter 
is, is the court that will settle us. So while I was in the deliverance uh, program on Wednesday, one of the pastors have attended to me. So while I was seated quietly to read that book, so that I can finish that book, maybe on Friday, I'll certainly move on. One of the pastors, I, pers I, I observed him, he was uh, uh, delivering another person. But he stopped and came to me, the sister, that I'm led to talk to you. I said, eh, hey. I said, okay. So I perceived that it's not ordinary. So I said, okay, you're welcome. So I seated and he started explaining to me, say, that matter that you want to move, say, suspend it. I said, ah, how? He said, suspend it, that the God of Jesus is going to do it for you. I say, amen. I said, this man don't know my mind, though. I've, I've concluded it. What was the case? A sales girl that we employed by, uh, by February, all of a sudden, I started having bad dreams. And I never knew that this lady has gone where she will go and decided to take over my husband. I was at home. So I started by February, March, April. I started uh, dreaming bad, bad dreams. So I called my husband. He said, I said, it's like you have started shitting on me again. I said, why? Why are you doing this? He said, what proof? I said, my dreams are not, are, not, are not fake. I said, but be careful. That woman is somebody's wife and has two children, so be careful. If not, I will not take any better consequences. So I didn't know that it was a reality. So all of a sudden, by May, early part of May, my husband came to the house and said, Please, from now henceforth, I don't want you to be cooking my food. I said, ah, who is there cooking your food? I said, secondly, I don't want you to be washing my clothes. I said, then who is washing your clothes? It kept on to the point that I, I didn't know what to do. I have to call one of my sisters. Please, come to our house. I don't know what is happening. I didn't know that my husband with this lady has gone fast. She has gone to three, three different native doctors and give, him all the, and give him all the concussion. And before I knew... This lady is sleeping in an uncompleted building, a caravan, but my husband is even going there. Somebody that is, uh, at least, is living where, is going there to sleep with this girl. I said that he's going to marry this girl. And when you see the lady, I say, if you are marrying a doctor, maybe a person that is better off than me, I would say maybe, at least, you have seen a better person. But not this time. I say, even though you want to disgrace yourself, not your sales girl. So that went on, on and on. So when I perceived that something was wrong somewhere, my auntie came, talked. He said, no, he has concluded the matter that he has a second wife. The second wife is going to come and take care of his children. I said, okay. So I went to the elder brother's place. I said, Oga, the day that people came to marry me, you are the person that stood and said, you'll be my father, father-in-law. So you are now the father-in-law. So I came to report to you that my husband, this is making the third time that he has done this and that he, st he has started again. So my husband and I, my the elder brother and I called him. So while I was moving out from the elder brother's place, my mind told me to go to his best friend and also complain. So I went to the best friend. I never knew that God was leading me. The best, immediately best friend saw me, said, ah, madam, I've been wanting to come to you, but I don't know how to open up. He said, see, I said, but yeah, I've not seen your friend for all this while. Your friend, for over two weeks, he has not been in the house. He said, my sister, your, your husband has been in that, uh, that girl, your, your sister's girl. They imagine somebody who that is responsible like this is inside a, a caravan. You know, you know caravan uh, with the girl. He said he wants to marry that girl. I say, hey, ah, I say, okay. So when I went to the house, it's like the man now called him that that thing that you're doing, I've told your wife who. The elder brother now called him that. In fact, if I hear again that I heard that you have not been in the house for two weeks. So my husband came to the night. I said, listening to all of them, and I came and said, Madam, say, since you are we are now that I'm actually what, living with a strange woman, that for, for today, today you are living. I was thinking that it's a joking matter. In the night, my husband came, beat me to death point. I was struggling with life. I said, please, if you, he said, are you ready to leave my house? I said, yes, I'm ready. But just spare my life. Don't kill me. He said, I will kill you since you have decided what, to expose what I've done. That I told you that you must not go to anybody. But I said, how will you be leaving house for two weeks? I will not report to anybody. It's, it's a sound story. He said, you're leaving my house now since you are aware of the matter. That I told you that I will just surprise you and marry the strange man and throw you out of this house. But my friend, I exposed to you. I said, wow. 
So he has struggled life out of my. I said, please, my children were shouting, Daddy, don't kill our mommy. Daddy, don't kill our mommy. Daddy, don't kill our mommy. My husband was squeezing me life. He was squeezing hell out of my life. I said, Chai, is that I'm going to die. I said, please, if you are spare my life, I'm going to leave. So early in the morning, he now asked me, have you packed your load? I said, yes. I said, what about my children? Give me my children. He said, no, I'm not giving to give you. He will go. So that is how I packed my load. And I was living in an uncompleted building. A woman that has two bedroom flats. I, I built a house. I went to live in an uncompleted building. From one sofa to another, I packed to this place. They stole my load just like that. So I now said, the elder last month, the elder brother called him that we want to settle the matter. He said, he's not ready for anything. That I should go. I said, okay. So and I said, since he's not giving me my children, my children have been calling me that they are suffering. I said, okay. So cut the long story short, let me go to feed her for divorce. So all of a sudden, I started hearing, choosing, choosing, choosing. So I moved down to the headquarters. Let's hear her out. Let's hear her out. So after the whole thing, the man now gone, I said, I should come to, for the Edo crusade after they prayed for me. So while I was in crusade, this man that vowed not to call me, this man that vowed not to have anything to do with me, I, all of a sudden I saw his missed call. I said, ah, this man miss road. Ah. I said, ah. So I thank God that God too took away that burden of unforgiveness because it's like I should just kill him. When I realized how we suffered, to the extent that we reached, I said, hey. So but I, I, I realized that after I saw the missed call, it was not like, Heavyweight, I feel free to talk with him. So I now call. I say, Ah, how far now? Say, on a day. He say, We are fine. Say, ah, another day again, another night. The second day of the crusade. He now called me. I started disturbing me in the night. He said, Babe, where are you? I say, Babe, I'm in the crusade ground. <laughs> I say, I came to summon you to your God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, he answered her calling me. He said, please, we need her to talk. I said, what are we talking? You said that you leave your house, that you find a good woman. Not knowing that the lady with him, they have been fighting. They have been fighting. They have been fighting. The lady back out. He said, there is no money. I'm going out. She has squandered everything. Man, sometimes you would think that what you have in the house is not better. <laughs> Be careful, though. This lady came and squandered everything. If it is a wife, he will manage now. But since everything is finished, she said she will go. My husband said, how will you go? I've chased my wife already because of you, so you will stay. He said, I'm not going. I'm not going. And that is how she passed. So to clean it all, I was thinking that it was a joke. This morning, my, my first daughter called me, said, Mommy, that you need to come back. Because like the father told them that it's like your mommy is not ready to come back. You put you go and beg her. Because I called her, she said she's the crusade so the, my daughter called me this morning, that, ah, ah, I'm not, uh, mommy, where are you? That daddy said she has been calling, uh, he has been calling you and you're not yet back. He said, come and take care of us. I said, but the youthful have auntie that is taking care of youthful now. He said, no, that auntie is bad. That auntie cannot take care of us. In fact, she has even packed a load and said she is going, that she, she, she has not seen any money again. I said, oh, she came because of money. Ah. So I know that I'm not going to put her court. But the reason why I'm testifying because this man vowed not to call me. She said, he said he will not even beg me. He said he will not have anything to do with me. But since even throughout yesterday, he has been calling. Ah, we thought that you're back. I said from Edo, I moved down to Lagos. So I am on. He said, Lagos, say how I manage. I say, ah, the God of choosing is answering prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, by the time I'm done with the, the women's program on Saturday, ah, it will be hard. Wow. I want to thank God that God of this mountain have God take this. Because the man of God keep on saying, you that have marital problem, you are reconciled back to your, fa your family. I claim it. He, huh. he kept on repeating that, that prayer point. And I claim all that. I know that the God of choosing has started doing it, and he will do it to perfection. He has when, done it. Amen. Before I landed it all, on Monday when we landed here, on Tuesday, I met the Geo Spirit teaching that he said, don't be occupied until, your car, until God comes. 
and I thank God for that message that I heard. I, I started praying for mercy because at some point I was careless. When I know that my husband is not good with women, how come I allow a woman to walk with him in the shop? So the man of God was emphasized that sometimes God will give it to you something, you will not lose it, carelessly lose it. So I started asking God for mercy that in this point, it wasn't my husband, I was the one that was careless. If I have told myself that woman, you cannot walk here, let's look for a man. I wouldn't have faced all these things. So I started asking God for mercy that I was a cause. At some point, I was careless. God gave me family, but I decided to lose it. I said, God, have mercy on me. So I thank God for the message that I came and met on Tuesday, and I'm here to receive another one today. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified. This God that is bringing it back to my family. I don't know how I will have lived when I lost my children, I lost my husband, and I will have started again. I don't know. I also want, wanted to go for divorce because I felt it's all over. But the God of Jesus said, it's not yet over. I'm not yet done with you. God has, has, has done it again. And I know that I'm going home. He's taking me back to the family. And my husband will serve God in this mountain. I said, may the name of the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for the grace of the man of God. I wish him heaven at last and all choosing members in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God that you had it. In the, in the Edo Crusade, it is true, Gio mentioned that case and said, you that you are having marital problem, you will be reconciled. And she claimed it and it has come to pass. And you can hear her saying, when she had choosing, 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 that was what was trending on the internet. Choosing, choosing was trending. And if not that choosing, choosing was trending, she would not have heard about choosing. So that choosing that is trending is bringing many people to choosing. And God is glorifying his name. Amen. So, as choosing is trending, it's bringing people. And when the people came, Gio mentioned her case. Mentioned it severally. That that woman that is having problem, marital problem, you'll be reconciled. He mentioned it many times, and the woman claimed it. And today, God has gone to where the problem is and have solved it. The marriage that was, that was threatened with divorce, that the husband has asked her to go. Now, God has caused confusion between the husband and the strange woman. And now the husband is looking for his wife back. Only God of choosing can do this. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. The point I'm trying to make is if you see or hear people talking about choosing, or they see you with apron, they say, choosing, choosing, you people are trending on the internet. Say yes, so it is our time. It is not our fault.